and there you go guys, welcome back, welcome back to the Empire Collective Cup, this is game number two between Loiza and Mr. Yo for the Platinum League, and here we are on Arena, which is Loiza's home map, completely expected, yes, well, did I just say I was 99.9% .9 sure that Loiza would choose Arena Britons? Oh yeah, I did, and here it is. He's playing on the northwest of the map, east of the map, sorry, northeast, in the purple. And uh, his opponent down to the southwest in the blue. We have Mr. Yo playing as the Aztecs. So, I don't know if he's necessarily done his homework here. The Aztecs, of course, are a very good sieve on this map. They are a very standard sieve choice on this map. But they're not necessarily the best sieve choice versus the... Brits and because you know the Brits their game plan here we've seen this matchup many times I think the only person to beat Loiza as the Aztecs versus Loiza's Britons has been backed and uh, the only way I think you can do it is really really high aggression now the question is will Loiza go for the castle drop and make longbows or will he go for the double archery range play and control the map and take the relics because Depending on what he does, obviously will depend, uh, you know, change a lot of uh, how Mr. Yo might want to respond and react. Now, if Loiza goes for two archery ranges and does crossbows, then Mr. Yo is going to have to be very aggressive. He's going to have to make mangonels. He's going to have to try and take the map control back. Um, and then he can safely, if he gets map control, he can safely do a mangonel. He can go for the wall bust. He can get really, really aggressive. I think that's the way to do it. Um, against someone doing double archery ranges as the Brits, High aggression is probably the way to go. However, if Loiza does a castle and just longbows, then Mr. Yo should be able to collect the relics and take advantage of that. Uh, as the Aztecs, of course, 33% relic gold bonus. You know the drill. And um, if you can grab the relics because of Loiza putting up a defensive castle, then he will do that. And then he's got to be able to... Be, he's got to read it from there. He's not going to get aggressive at that point. Because if your opponent's making a castle in a defensive position, it's very, very difficult to use a mangonel to break the walls down because the castle can just defend everything and it becomes really difficult to um, you know to, to work that out so yeah um, in this situation we'll have to wait and see what Loiza does but I think Loiza's wearing the trousers right now I think Loiza's uh, got the pants on um, <laughs> he wears the trousers he's gonna be the one kind of control in this game I feel uh, to be honest with you as the Brits but we'll have to wait and see obviously now we'll have a quick look at the map obviously that's gonna be something that plays an important part as well and to perhaps influencing the players a little bit and uh, looking at Mr. Yo here, unfortunately for him, no relics inside of his walls, uh, or in the actual wall, which we've seen a few times in the past. Um, but Mr. Yo does have relics very close by. There's one right out on the front, one to the right here. It should be easy to get that. And the others, well, the others are either A, in Loiza's base, or just outside of his wall. So, I mean, Loiza's basically got two relics safe there if he wants to go for them. Other than that, I think Mr. Yo's map isn't that good, really. I mean, he's stone on the front. He's got gold on the front. Um, unlikely, of course, for Loiza to do a castle drop on the front here. But if he does get aggressive with mangonels and rams, which we've seen him do before, that gold is going to become immediately under pressure, as will this one here on the left side, which can be attacked from behind the wall. Mr. Yo also has back gold and stone, though. And that's something that's very useful if he scouts it, and indeed he has. So he's going to be able to fall back to that if things get a bit dicey on the front. So that's always nice to know. Loiza doesn't have anything in the back. His wood line is basically um, completely closed by his walls, and there's just nothing back here. So sadly for Loiza, his map probably not as good because... He doesn't have anything back there. He's basically got uh, forward gold on the left. He's got forward gold on the right. His main gold is very close to the edge of the wall as well. His stone is against the trees here, which is really awkward. His other stone is also hittable, you know, from behind the wall. So I don't think this map is as nice. And uh, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I'm saying that now on purpose because of what Tiger Aldor said in the chat. You'll have to wait and see, Tiger Aldor. I'll have to wait and see. But yes, we're just going to sit tight and uh, watch this Dark Age build up. We can speculate all day about what they're going to do. And I think it's really, like I say, Loiza, he's going to be calling the shots on this one. Whether or not he goes for the castle drop, or whether or not he goes for the... Um 
what's it called, the two archery ranges crossbow kind of play very quickly. Now I did notice earlier on, Loiza did steal away a couple of sheep from Mr. Yo. You see underneath Mr. Yo's TC, he's only got one sheep under there, uh, one sheep remaining anyway, whereas Loiza has a lot more. Four sheep under there and one being taken. So Loiza here clearly going to have a food advantage and that could be, again, something that influences him. He might be able to pull off a little bit of a faster castle time. Bear in mind as well, the Brits have that sheep gathering bonus as well. So the sheep gather bonus going to be coming into play with the extra two sheep. And that could give Loiza a nice little boost. Enough of a boost to be very tempted to do a super fast castle time. Maybe even cut a villager out. But it doesn't look like he's going to do that at all. He's got 26 population, which is the standard amount for a fast castle. Yet he's still adding in another vill. He's going to go for 27, and he's moving out to the stone now as well. So that pretty much tells us what Lois is going to do. He's going to do a cattle drop, and he's going to put it probably like next to the gold or... You know, it doesn't really matter where he's going to put it, but it's going to be in his walls somewhere, probably. And we've seen him do this a few times now. We've seen him do both of these strats, the one I was talking about with the archery ranges and the crossbows. And we've seen him do the strat with the castle a few times and uh, I'm starting to think the castle strat is a lot safer it's a lot less risky because you're playing like a more defensive game with the defensive castle position and he knows that because he's got these two relics right here he's probably going to be able to secure two anyway so that means three relics for the Aztec two for himself it's not a huge deal um, that his opponent has one more relic obviously if he wasn't Aztecs it would be less of a big deal but even still I mean he'd probably not be too concerned about that so cattle drop from Loiza, confirmed, HLTV confirmed, cattle drop incoming from the Loiza here. And he's, yeah, he's had a bit of a pain with these deer, isn't he? He's trying to lure them in, but the gate wasn't cooperating, and he doesn't want to delete a wall piece, it seems. I mean, the easiest way to lure these deer would be to delete a single piece of wall and push them through. Uh, sadly, I can't delete the wall for him. I'm trying to press the delete button now. It, it doesn't work. But yeah, trying to lure them through the gate, kind of awkward, because the gate doesn't open for the deer. So, yeah, he's going to leave it at that, but he doesn't really need these two deer. These two deer would be nice, but he's got the extra two sheep from Yo, so he's not too bothered about that. Mr. Yo, he's lured all of his deer in. They were inside the walls, super easy to push them in. And he is now, of course, going to be going up to the castle age very, very quickly. 27 population. Lois is on 28. He's going to be up on 29 by the time his blacksmith and market and this last villager is done. And sending those villas out to the stone now. So he gets enough stone to build his second TC, of course. So a little bit of a scuffle between the scout and the eagle. Who is gonna win? Da -da 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 -da. Who's gonna win? It's gonna be the scout, of course, because the scout always wins in that situation. But yeah, <laughs> Lloyds are up to the castle age as well. And of course, now in this situation, um, it's... I, and this is the thing, like, Mr. Yo, because he's lost his scout, he's not going to have scouting info now. He's scouted the map, but he's not going to be able to see what's going on. He's not going to be able to see, you know, he's not going to be able to come up to this wall and see how many villagers are maybe on gold. He's kind of limited. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Yo thought he was going to win that fight. Uh, he was sorely mistaken. But yeah, that's one eagle down. It's not really a huge deal, but obviously now, this is the thing for Loiza. Loiza will be able to keep patrolling around these walls and basically spot if Mr. Yo is leaving his base or anything like that. He'll be able to kill the first monk that comes out if Mr. Yo goes down that route. And we can see what Mr. Yo is going to do by how many villas he has on gold. And Mr. Yo, with just four villagers on gold, this is certainly not a standard Aztec build order. That is for sure. With this many villas on gold, you I kind of don't expect to see him making two monasteries. A very common strat is to do a barracks and a monastery or two monasteries, but instead he is just going up with a second TC. He is not even building a single monastery yet. He might throw one down anyway, there it is, uh, but he's not going like all out into monks. That's just one monastery. He's probably not going to add a second, but he is adding in his second TC instead very quickly. 
Now, Loiza, he's going to be castle as well in just a moment. That castle is ready. Uh, sign of the devil just a second ago. 666 six, six stone. Obviously now 676. Six, but still, that uh, castle going up. There it is on the right side, as predicted. He will be putting that up on the gold monastery as well. And uh, that will be secured. Uh, but, uh, now, uh, sorry, that will allow him to secure to relics. Now, the awkward thing here for Mr. Yo is, of course, he has nothing to support his monk. So, Loiza might actually be able to kill the monk here. And if he kills the monk, that's going to be huge because he will be able to secure the relic on the front. And that way, Mr. Yo might only get two. Loiza will get three. And that's going to be huge. So, Loiza here, or Mr. Yo here, sorry, going to go for the relic on the right side first. That's fine. It's a shame the, the wolves don't attack, but yeah. Anyway, he's going for the, the relic on the right. Loiza, though, it's like he knows. Look at this. His spidey senses tingling. He's waited at this relic. He's seen there's nothing there. He's come to the south, but oh my gosh. He's moving back. There's the monk, and he might just get converted. He's going to be able to get a couple of hits. One, two, three. Down he goes. And Loiza going to deny the relic. GG. Mr. Yo there, Q in the chat, which is basically like G in Chinese, I believe. It's like, instead of saying GG, they say like QQ. Um, so yeah, a little fun factlet for you there. But yeah, obviously Loiza denies the relic from Yo. Yo will grab the one on the front though, and Loiza's going to see that immediately disappear. He's going to move his scout over there, but it's going to be too late. But Loiza now, I mean, he's got the opportunity to come and grab the... The, the relic on the front, he could have kept that safe. I don't know why he's going for the relic on the right side first. He's not even queuing a monk just yet, but he is making longbows, however, and building his second and third TC. Lloyd's doing wheelbarrow, Yo doing wheelbarrow. Both these players are quick to do these wheelbarrow technologies, and so it's very, very vital when you're building up three TCs. Uh, wheelbarrow, of course, really helping out your farms. This time, Yo coming in with two monks. How many will Mr. Yo, or how many uh, will Mr. Yo lose? How many will Loiza be able to kill? We'll find out. His scout just through the fog of war here somewhere, or is it? He's moved it. Where's he going? Loiza, where are you going, son? I think he's, I think Loiza's watching to see when the relic disappears, and then he'll send his scout over. But if he's not quick, those monks might just get away. He's going the wrong way. Oh my goodness me. Loiza, what are you doing? He could have actually killed one of those monks right there. Now Mr. Yo's going to get the third relic, and that is going to be three relics safe, I believe. Wait, hold on. Where's the other one? What? Hold on, there were three relics up here. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Loiza gonna kill yet another monk though. Easily done. Where did that third relic go? Ah, Loiza's got it. Okay. Now it all makes sense. Okay, so Loiza went and grabbed the relic on this top side here. He's gonna grab the relic on the right and he'll grab the one inside of his walls. So he'll ha he will have three. Yo will have two. Sorted. That's the relics out of the way. It's a real pain in the butt working out the relic thing. I, I yeah, I can't believe that. Um, I honestly thought Mr. Yo got that one for some reason, but uh, now Loiza is going to have three, and that is of course going to um, offset the fact that Mr. Yo has the 33% relic gold bonus. Both players booming up quite heavily here. Mr. Yo with three TCs. It looks like he's going to do a really good imperial time in this situation. Loiza actually going up with a fourth TC now on this main gold. He's got his longbows ready. And he's got his third relic coming in in just a minute. Um, but Mr. Yo, I think fast Imperial time. He's going to be very fast. He's moving out to take stone. I think we're going to see a castle drop from Mr. Yo. Coupled with the fast Imperial. He'll try and bust these walls down. And then it'll raid with eagles or something like that. That's what I expect we'll see. But obviously the Aztecs have a fantastic economy. Um, and with just these small number of farms. I say small number. There's a good number still. But, you know, without a huge number of farms, Mr. Yo going to have enough surplus food to go up to the Imperial Age and also have enough gold as well from the relics and the gold on the right side that he's gathered. Lombos though moving in and this is what I was talking about earlier on. This gold on the front here, really, really freaking awkward. Those Lombos going to be able to kill any villagers there but uh, Yo on the way up to Imp right now. And that's 23 minutes of game time, 66 population and up to the Imperial Age. Really not bad at all. Obviously, Loiza going to be a lot slower in 
comparison, I mean, he's 4 TCs, so he's spending more food on making villages. And sure, he's going to get a huge villager advantage, but he's going to need a lot more food income. And you see the difference here. Like, look how many farmers he has. Loiza has 31 farmers. Mr. Yo has 27. And he's already clicked up to imp. Loiza, he can barely scrape enough food together to uh, to keep his villagers coming out right now. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's still, uh, it's going to be a few moments before he can click up. And that means that, of course, Mr. Yo is going to have a big advantage with the barracks coming up right now. And uh, with those barracks there, we'll expect to see Eagle Warriors. That's pretty much a um, confirmed. Eagle Warriors confirmed. HLTV confirmed. Eagle Warriors coming up. And there they are in the barracks being queued right now. Elite Illegal Warriors on the way as soon as he reaches Imperial. And um, like I said, with this many farms, he's going to be able to afford all of that good stuff very, very, very quickly. Uh, I can see what you're writing, Red Cow. Um, I don't chat too much with you guys though because a lot of the you know all these videos go up on youtube so if i spend all the time chatting with the people in the chat people on youtube won't know what i'm actually talking about a lot of the time though i do try when it's like community games and stuff to talk to you guys a little more than i suppose look at this loisa so cheeky so cheeky converting a vill from um yo oh my god how how does this villager have 40 health? what 40 out of how does she have 40 out of 25 health how is that possible? I mean, this... The, what? It's like this villager doesn't have loom. That is so weird. Thank you very much to Uptown G. Uptown G for resubscribing two months in a row. But what the fuck? <laughs> That's all I can say to that. It, Mr. Yo... I mean, Loiza com... Does Loiza have loom? All right, okay, so... Loiza has no loom, he converts one of Mr. Yo's villagers, and suddenly it has no loom. It has 40 out of 25 health. Is that actually a bug in the game that no one actually noticed before? That is so, so weird, guys. I've never seen that. I'm, I'm going to do some investigation on that after this game, because this that was, like, so weird. Never ever seen that. Usually if you convert a unit, it just stays as it is. It doesn't matter about your own technologies. It will stay the same. So, so very strange. Illuminati triple six confirmed. <laughs> uh, rest in pepperonis. So, yeah, Mr. Yo here, elite, illegal warriors. And uh, currently, well, Loiza, I think, I think Mr. Yo trying to drop his castle on the front here. And this is actually a real pain in the butt because Loiza actually has his castle already. He's on the way up to Imp. Mr. Yo, he doesn't have his castle up yet. So right now, he is Imperial, but he is not inside of Loiza's walls. And until he gets inside, he can't do any damage. So that is going to be a big problem. And with Loiza being on the way up to Imperial right now, with a huge economy, um, he's doing long swordsman in anticipation of these eagles. He's going to be able to make a treb immediately and start trebbing down this castle. On the left side, he's trying to wall it up to secure this stone and gold, which is totally understandable. This gold on the front is not going to be safe unless you can take the castle from Yo down, maybe wall that as well. But the castle from Yo is up, the treb should be coming out. There it is. But Imperial Age 4 lowers it 10% away. Maybe, maybe he'll lose the Treb War. I don't know. But uh, with Long Swords coming out, he's well equipped to deal with the elite illegals that are uh, swarming the center of the map right now. Uh, obviously, plus four defense done on these guys. I, if, I, if I'm going to be critical of Mr. Yo here, he should have busted this wall a lot earlier on. He should have had a siege workshop down. He should have had a mangonel. And he should have been going at that wall. So that once he hit Imp, he could immediately raid with Eagles. And in fact, we saw a very similar situation with 8th Wonder on this map. I think it was 8th Wonder versus Loiza. He got Imp, and he didn't manage to break the wall. And all these Eagles could do nothing. And it gave Loiza this huge time advantage, uh, or a huge amount of time, sorry, where he could upgrade his long swords and upgrade his two-handed swordsman, etc. And defend. I mean, he was able to defend because the, the eagles weren't able to raid. This is the thing about eagles. They have to get in and raid, otherwise the brick player makes champions and then they all die. So it's a real pain in the butt if you don't get in. And it's really 
fairly important. Champion already on the way for Loiza right now. And, uh, well, he's going to have to put heavy repairs on this castle as his trebuchet goes for the castle of uh, Yo. Looks like he's actually going for the castle, though, ignoring the trebs altogether. Both players just going for the castles here. And since Mr. Yo has no repairers in sight, it means that Loiza will probably win this fight. As soon as that castle goes down, he can send his two-handed swordsman out there, uh, obviously completely fearless of the arrow fire, because that is their biggest weakness, of course. So he's going to push out, I think, immediately. As soon as this castle goes down, or at the very least, he should push out. There you go. He's going to go for it, and he'll be able to take these trebs. He'll be able to take these um, eagles. And meanwhile, Mr. Yo... He's making Man at Arms, Long Swordsman as well, another castle coming up. Um, maybe getting a little greedy with the TC out in the center of the map, but this castle is fantastic. That is a great position there, uh, but Loiza coming out now, champions. Those trebs, they are not getting away. There's no chance that they will survive. And that's a pretty big loss for Mr. Go right there. That's 200, uh, 200 gold each, that's 400 gold total, 400 wood. Certainly not cheap, and it means that Loiza has two trebs as well to move on to the next target, which is going to be this castle. Now, I say that this castle is in a great position because it will protect one, two, and three gold piles, which are on the left side of this map. So, Mr. Yo immediately identifying where the important parts of this map are and getting that castle set up. Loiza's going to scout that really quickly. And now he's going to go for the main gate. It looks like if he brings his trebs over, he's not even going to actually acknowledge this castle. He'll just go straight in. The, oh, Mr. Yo, going to try and throw up a castle right here. But the gate is open. Loiza can send his... He can send his longbow in. He can deny this castle right now. He can send the longbows through the gate, but he didn't notice the gate will close. The champs, however, going to make it through. And Mr. Yo going to find himself retreating away from that castle as his villagers get absolutely cut down uh, from where they build. And now, Lois is immediately, immediately targeting this next castle here. I honestly thought that Loiza would go for this gate, try and just get in. And I'm even more amazed by two things. One, Loiza didn't deny this castle. These four villagers still working away. Not sure what is going on right there. And also by Mr. Yo, because he managed to destroy these trebs pretty easily right there with his eagles. Now sure, a lot of his eagle warriors did die in the process, but it was worth it. He took the trebs down. That's the important thing. It's going to buy him some time. And now he just has to deal with these bloody champions in the back of his base, which is uh, not... Not too difficult to do. I mean, they're going to die eventually. <laughs> but not to the TCs, funnily enough, because the TCs have no upgrades, which is kind of awkward. I think Mr. Yo probably needs to consider getting fletching and stuff. Now, Mr. Yo is doing Garland Wars. He's doing Blast Furnace as well. So his champions are a lot better than Loiza's. His champions, they're going to be able to go... Well, Loiza's going to be able to get plus four, plus four. And Mr. Yo is going to be able to get plus 8, plus 4, which is obviously a big difference. An extra 4 attack for the Aztec champs. However, the Aztecs don't have anything to deal with the longbows here, really. Other than perhaps Siege Onager. And even that can be a little bit dicey when the longbows are fully upgraded with 12 range. So, longbows are going to be able to deal with these champs pretty easily. Garland War's now done. And Mr. Yo trying to mass those champions up with that plus 8, plus 4 defense, like I say. Loiza, though, I mean, he's looking pretty damn good, isn't he? Three trebs right there on the right side. And um, Fletching does affect TCs. It gives them more attack damage. It doesn't give them range, but the attack damage allows them to do damage through the uh, pierce armor of the champions. Uh, champions here, five pierce armor. TCs with five attack. If you give them bodkin arrow, they'll do two damage per arrow. If you give them bracer, they'll do three damage per arrow. Um, but anyway. TC, uh, castle, sorry gonna go down and uh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt because like I said Loiza here can push straight in once again and he's actually doing elite longbow right now that's gonna be six plus five range and until he gets Yearman he won't get the 12 range total but that's a lot of potential damage output those champions are gonna get cut down where they stand and with the champions from Loiza acting as a kind of meat shield out in front the longbows can do their damage from the back and that will be a massacre for Mr. Yo. Lois is going to lose a lot of units in the process though, but with the trebs deployed and nothing that Yo can do to stop them, both castles are going to go down. And now Mr. Yo is in a whole world of trouble. Oh, look at that. That's that's cheeky. 
gating, he gated in a longbowman so he could raid the wood line and kill one. <laughs> Is it worth it? Whatever, Loiza, whatever. So yeah, uh, moving forwards, of course, he'll be able to set his sights on the TCs. Oh, the TC at the top, gonna get denied. Oh, so very close. TC's gonna just go up. But this TC here, well, that's on the way down, isn't it? I mean, champions alone gonna be able to take this out. And like I said earlier on, without fletching or anything like that, gonna do very minimal damage to these champs. And uh, down it goes. Villagers out. And Mr. Yo, you may as well admit defeat right here because it's going to be a huge uphill battle to bring this one back. Lois has got 10 extra villagers, but he has 60 extra military units. 6 and 0. Oh, 60 extra military units. And Mr. Yo scrambling to put up some more castles here. And I guess the annoying thing for Mr. Yo is that he's actually got a lot of resources. He's got 1,500 gold in the bank. No way to spend it fast enough. His military production building is getting taken out. He's building more now. He's building another castle. But uh, his champion's just not going to be enough in the face of these longbowmen, which Loiza is pumping out all day long. Nearly 200 population now. And dropping a castle on the front will secure him more gold as well. Amazingly, that TC, uh, that uh, trap, sorry, everything's a TC today to me. Everything is a TC. Uh, but yeah, that trap going down. In fact, this castle might even... No, it's not going to be denied. It's not going to be denied. Lois is on the ball. He's taking those champs over there. But yeah, going to retreat away from this castle here. But immediately deploy his traps once again. It's QQ, essentially, for Mr. Yo right now. And uh, it's just yet another another player who cannot stand up to Lois's, uh, Lois's Britons on Arena. He's just so very, very good on this map, with this setting, with this sieve. It, yeah, he looks unstoppable, to be honest with you. It's only only Bact has been able to beat him on his home map so far. This entire event, I think. And that is quite impressive. Now, Lois is going to lose both Trebs again, which is kind of a shame. But uh, he can make more, I'm sure. There's this, yeah, I mean, he really doesn't have much to be afraid of at the moment, does he? He really doesn't. Bills here on the top, going to get cut down. Lois uh, might lose a couple of bills here, but of course, the castle will save the day. Uh, right now. Mr. Yo is just struggling to get even, you know, even the military population. He's got, he's outnumbered by 70 military units. If he knew that fact alone, he might decide to call GG right there. And I think even, I think, yeah, lawyers are even killing villagers now. He's killed a bunch of vills. He had 115 a while ago. He's now down to 102. Just to make room for more military. And surely Mr. Yo can see this. Surely he can see this mass of units outside of his base. And there's the GG. From Mr. Yo, Lois is going to get the win. And, uh, well, expected map choice, expected civ choice. Perhaps not an expected outcome, but he did play it really well. And that champion and longbow combo. Oh, I like that. The champion and longbow rombo combo from Loiza proving to be extremely effective once again. And, uh, just absolutely destroyed the Aztecs. This is where I think Mr. Yo should have done his homework. This is where I think Mr. Yo should have realized that what Loiza was going to do and counterpicked. He could have gone for the mines. In fact, the mines would be perfect in this situation. Just think about plumed archers for a minute and what they would be able to do. Think about maybe the goths, for instance. They'd also have pretty good, um, sort of, you know, a, a pretty good setup here. So, I don't know. Mr. Yo, perhaps losing out because of his civ choice, but I don't know. We'll have to ask him. <laughs> we'll have to ask him.